Creative Officer of Fisker Inc., Henrik Fisker. Good morning, everybody. It's actually really great to see everybody in real life. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm zoomed out. So uh, I, it's great to be back here at the LA Auto Show. And uh, particularly, I'm looking forward just to walk around and see real metal. You know, I'm tired of looking at computers and pictures, and I think everybody's excited about that. So I'm super excited about it, and I'm really excited about talking about the specifications of this vehicle that we have. Uh, we've got a lot of exciting things to reveal. Uh, of course, the pandemic has been tough for everyone. Uh, it's, you know, we were almost born during the pandemic as a company. We hired over 300 people. Uh, since we went public last year in October, we raised about $1.6 billion, which obviously has meant we can accelerate everything we're doing despite the pandemic. I do think two good things came out of the pandemic. You know, a lot of people ask me, do people really care about the world's most sustainable car, even a sustainable car and recycled materials? And I actually think they do. Uh, we made a survey with about 19,000 people, which is our reservation holders. And they said the two main reasons they made a reservation for the Fisker Ocean was sustainability and design. And I think during the pandemic, we actually saw something that many people didn't think could happen. We saw the planet heals itself. For the first time during this pandemic, for many, many decades, people in Venice in Italy saw a fish in the channels. You know, for the first time, probably in many, many years, people in Shanghai saw a totally blue sky. So we saw that the nature can heal itself. And for me, that is hope and it's excitement that we actually can do something innovative and something to help the planet. So I think that was one good thing. The second good thing is that I haven't had to spend any money for the last one and a half year on clothes. So when I went into my closet, unfortunately, none of it fitted. Uh, so I, I'm happy I got a nice uh, Fisker sweatshirt. Um, so <clears throat> what I want to talk about today is I really want to talk about the specifications of this vehicle. I know that it sounds maybe crazy. We can actually sell this vehicle for $37,500. But part of the reason for that is our business model. We are extremely lean car company. We don't have to lay thousands of dollars on each car because we, we are selling direct, we don't have any dealers, uh, we don't have manufacturing plants that we have to maintain, pay for, we don't have service uh, dealerships that we have to pay for. As you might know, we have created um, a, a really strong already service uh, network with partners, which means we'll have access to thousands of service places immediately when we launch the vehicle. We are planning to set up some experience centers where you can go and see the vehicle. Of course, we have already signed a deal here for the first one in LA that we're going to open middle of next year. And then we are planning to have delivery centers outside big cities to lower the cost. So for me, it's all about how do you create an innovative, exciting vehicle that's affordable for everyone. And that's what the Fisker Ocean is about. So before I go into the detail, let's take a look at the vehicle. Let's look at the Fisker Ocean. You can obviously see it's got a super wide stance. We did that for maximum handling. Uh, it's got 22 inch wheels as an option. You will notice that this is actually a wheel that's made from a mix of aluminum and recycled carbon fiber. So we are going all through with our recycled materials. In the interior, uh, you will notice that we have all a lot of recycled materials, everything from recycled plastic bottles and fishing net from the oceans is what's made out of all the carpets. And we also use recycled T-shirts for some of the uh, materials inside. But this is a luxury interior, and I think that's the exciting part, that we can use recycled materials and actually create a luxury vehicle. 
Once you get a cl closer look, you'll actually see the seats. Uh, they don't have seams like normal seats have. This is a new freeform technology that we're using. And you will also notice uh, in the interior a couple of high-tech items that I'm going to talk about right now. So as, as, as we developed this car, we wanted to make sure that we could put something in this vehicle that nobody else had. So first, let's talk a little bit about the specifications of this vehicle. I think that a lot of people uh, are either looking at, do I just drive around in my SUV in the city and do I really need to have a huge battery? And then there's other people who says, well, I want the large battery because I want to go on long trips and I don't want to have to charge it too often. So we have two different battery technologies for this vehicle. We have in the standard vehicle, in the sport version, we have LFP battery. As you might know, we have a deal with CATL, the world's largest battery company. So the base vehicle will have LFP uh, battery technology and the two other vehicles will have NMC. So the base vehicle is $37,499 and that vehicle will have 250 mile range. It'll accelerate from 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. We have made it front wheel drive uh, because of better handling in snow, better traction in snow, and more efficiency. It also has silicon carbide inverters for even more efficiency, e even in the base version. The next version is called the Ultra, which is $49,999. And that vehicle will have a class leading range of 340 miles. There is no other car under 50,000 that even comes close to that. So, and it'll have four wheel drive and it'll have 540 horsepower. That's used to be kind of the numbers you would see in a Ferrari, uh, but that's gonna be the car that you can roll, you know, take your kids to school with. Uh, and once you have dropped the kids, you can have some fun. It'll go zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. And that, and it has torque vectoring. And I've actually driven this on a track, uh, or early prototype, and you can drive about 10 miles faster than you even think is physically possible with torque vectoring. So once we get these cars in the hands of you, uh, you will actually experience that you feel like a Formula One driver when you drive this vehicle. So this is the most advanced powertrain, I think, in the world right now. And one of the reasons, by the way, that we could have this advanced technology is because we have lowered the development time from normally about four years of a vehicle to less than two and a half years. That means that all our technology in this vehicle were chosen this year. If you go and buy a car today, it usually has technology in it that was chosen three years ago, which is why it doesn't always feel as modern as your smartphone. But in this vehicle, we actually chose the technology this year, so when you get the car next year, it's pretty new technology. Now, in the top version, is called the Fisker Extreme, the Fisker Ocean Extreme, and that vehicle is fully loaded, $68,999. It got over 350 mile range, and it's got a solar roof, the largest in the world, and that solar roof can give you up to about 1,500 miles. You obviously got to live in a nice place like California, where there's a lot of sun. In ideal conditions on commutes, maybe low speeds, it could get as high as 2,000 miles. And that's quite a lot. It's emission free and totally free. So that will be standard in the top version. We also got a couple of other really cool uh, features. One is California mode, which I think we might have a video of actually, uh, where you push a button and all the windows roll down. And I'm also talking about these three quarter windows and the rear window. And by the way, we call these three quarter windows here the doggy windows because you can have the dog here in the back and it can stick out his nose and have a little bit of fresh air without having to jump out of the window. Um, so I think we have a video of that, and if not, then you know I'll move on. Uh, we also have something really unique inside the vehicle that, that we have filed a patent on, and I think will be the first in the world to have uh, a, as a production vehicle. So if you think about your phone, when you use your phone and type on it, you, you hold it like this. And when you take a picture, or if you want to watch a movie, you turn the phone around. And basically, in our vehicle, we have a screen. On a push of a button, it changes from portrait mode to landscape mode. It just rotates. 
That is a really cool feature. Nobody else have that. And um, that's something that when you experience that, that's a whole new experience. And when somebody asks, well, what is different with the Fisker Ocean versus other cars? Nobody else have that rotating screen. Nobody else will have 350 or 340 miles in our price range. I don't think anybody has torque vectoring in our price range. Uh, so we really have a super innovative vehicle here, which I think, you know, $37,500, that's something a lot of people can afford. That's without any incentives. With a $7,500 incentive, you're talking about $29,999. I think that's a pretty good deal for this vehicle, quite frankly. So we're exciting. We're excited. We are still on target to launch next year, meaning our first vehicles will be delivered next year in November. In fact, everything is going so well. I think there's somebody from Magna here, so I better not say this, but things are going so well, so I think we can maybe deliver a few vehicles even before our official SOP. That's how fast we are moving. And I want to thank the entire Fisker team, Magna, and all our suppliers, because we have taken a whole new path of how to develop a vehicle. And it's been tough. It's been tough to talk to suppliers about doing something in two years instead of three and a half or four years. But we have managed it because we have made super fast decisions, decisions that normally take three to four months. We make them in three to four days. And that's the key, super fast decisions. But it's allowed us to move so fast, it's allowed us to get this new technology into the vehicle. And I'm really happy that this has become reality. The vehicle you see here is made from the mass data of the production vehicle. It's obviously made from you know, early prototype tools, but it's drivable. It sits on the aluminum platform that you can see over here. We have an aluminum intensive skateboard. But then for cost reasons, we made the upper body steel and has two advances. One is cost and the other is repair cost. Steel body is way lower cost to repair. It can be repaired anywhere. You don't need special body shops. So another point of this vehicle was also cost of ownership, the lowest cost of ownership. And as you know, we also have a revolutionary flexi lease, and we will also launch our flexi lease in, in 2023. And that means you can lease this vehicle for $379 a month, everything included up to 30,000 miles a year. That's double of what most others offer because we are, we are really uh, convinced about our powertrain, our durability of this vehicle. And of course, uh, what it means for us is that when you lease this vehicle, by the way, you can give it back anytime. Nobody, nobody does that today. So you can lease this vehicle and you give it back after a month, after three months, after six months. And when you give it back, we'll take it we'll polish it up and we'll lease it out to somebody else. And we are planning to keep our vehicle fleet on the flexi lease for 12 years. And after 12 years, we'll fully recycle the vehicle. So that is again about sustainability. How do we, what do we do about sustainability? We want to recycle the, our entire vehicle. We want to recycle the batteries in the end. I also want to mention that this vehicle is getting built in a CO2 neutral factory that's mainly run by hydro. So we, our ESG effort and our sustainability effort is really something that we take serious. And we are working, of course, on our goal of by 2027, being able to build a full CO2 neutral vehicle. It's a tough goal, but I think it's good to set tough goals to the entire team because that way you really work towards something that truly is gonna change the world. So I want to thank everybody and come up and take a closer look at the vehicle. We're going to make it spin. There's also another vehicle over there, which is in a super cool matte blue color, which is going to be a production color. Uh, that's one of the things that we are super excited about, offering up to 14 colors for our vehicle. And as I said, uh, we have 19,000 orders. People put down $250 uh, deposit on our Fisker Inc. website. Uh, and I hope we are going to be sold out for the first year of production in 2023. We are planning to make about 40 to 50,000 vehicles as we ramp up end of uh, next year. So thank you very much for coming. Good to see everybody. Thank you.